Hi, how are you doing? This is me, Tony, and this is another Phoenician inscription uh, for you today. It is the inscription of Baal of Lebanon. The Phoenician presence in the island of Cyprus probably dates to around the 10th century before Christ. The first inscription that we have is an inscription that dates back to around the 9th century. It is a funerary inscription that is unfortunately very damaged and that's why I have decided to start with the inscription of Baal of Lebanon. This inscription is very famous because it bears the name of a god that is not very well known um, in the Venetian um, pantheon of gods. The inscription itself was found, uh, which has two parts, uh, I think was found on fragmented pieces that uh, were in the past two silver cups dedicated by the governor of Carthage. And by the way, Carthage is not Carthage of, uh, of North Africa, of uh, current-day Tunisia, but it's Carthage of uh, Cyprus. And as you may know, Carthage, or in Phoenician, Carta Hadash, means uh, the new city. The old city um, was probably the city of Amatos, in uh, Cyprus and the Phoenicians came to that uh, area and they built a new city and they called it Carthage and it's probably uh, close or part of modern day Limassol in Cyprus. The, these pieces were found in uh, Limassol in the year 1877 in a shop and uh, they are now preserved in the Museum of um, the Louvre in Paris. Unfortunately, I was not able to provide you with uh, a photo of those um, cups or inscriptions. Um, if anyone can um, provide pictures or links to those cups, I will be grateful to him or her. Let us start as usual with um, those uh, reading those inscriptions to you um, in Phoenician first then in uh, French, English and Arabic. A remark here is that those inscriptions are also a little bit damaged so we don't know in the first inscription um, what was actually the name of the governor but by comparison to the names that exist in the Bible we can say that Probably the name of the governor um, would or could be uh, Ahitob, which means my brother is good, or brother of goodness, or my brother the god is good, which is a theophoric name. And the second version could be Abitob, which means that the, which means my god the god is my father the god is good or father of goodness, which is another explanation of the name. So let me start with the inscription on Baal A. It reads, Abitob Suchen Karta Hadasht, Abd Hiram, Milch Sidonim, Aze Yaton, Libal Libanon Adoniyu, Peroshot, Nehshet Hu. This part of the name of the location where the, um, the copper was found or um, was mined um, is absent, is damaged, and we cannot reconstitute it. In French, this reads Habitat, gouverneur de Carthage, serviteur de Hiram, roi des Sidoniens, a donné ceci à Baal du Liban, son seigneur, du premier rendement 
de cuivre de la région des mines de cuivre. In English, this reads Abi Top, governor of Carthage, servant of Hiram, king of the Sidonians, gave this to Baal of Lebanon, his lord, of the first yield of copper from the region where the copper was mined. The inscription of on Baal or cup B reads in Phoenician and here I'm going to use another version of the name I used Abi for the first inscription here I'm going to use Ahi Ahi Tob Sukhen Karta Hadasht Libal Libanon Adonio In French this reads Ahi Tob Gouverneur de Carthage Abal du Liban, son seigneur. In English, Ahitob, governor of Carthage, to Baal of Lebanon, his lord. In Arabic, the inscription on a uh, um, bronze cup A would read Abitob, Hakimu Carthage. خادم حرام ملك الصيدونيين هذه الكأس أعطاها لبعل لبنان سيده من بواكير النحاس المستخرج من المنطقة X. The second inscription um, on um, the cup B or Baal B reads. In Arabic, Ahitob, Haki Mukartaja, Libali Lubnan, Sayyideh. Thank you for listening and see you next time with another Phoenician inscription from this, the, this island of Cyprus. And I have um, quite a few of those inscriptions to share with you. God bless you all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.